Hello YouTube, I just wanted to show how a 5970 handles in Battlefield 3. As you can see this is the same hammer PC I've been using. Um, where are we? This will be this. the scaling of the actual GPUs on the percentage meter because the 5970 has two GPUs. We are going to go on uh, a quick match on um, multiplayer when that loads up. I never decides to load up. So slow. Um, I'll just show you quickly what uh, drivers I'm using. Uh, let's see. Location. Oh no, sorry. Uh, okay, that's it. That. Right. Information. Software. Right. Basically, it's the drivers that were released on the 15th of November, as well as a separate Catalyst application profile pack um, to go with it. Um, I've been getting full, um, very, very good scaling, but not on the first day after I installed them and restarted it. The second day afterwards, it was just amazing. Um, getting very, very high percentages on co-op, campaign and multiplayer in the 90s um, from 90 to up to 99% and about average in 95 I've never had that in a game before apart from synthetic benchmarks um, where are we? still matchmaking uh, normally only Furmark and um, Unigene stuff like that or 3D Mark actually uh, get full scaling most games are about uh, 70 80 percent that's sort of on both cores. Um, both of them are running completely standard. It's a Sapphire um, overclock 5978, just from slightly high speeds. But okay, then that doesn't seem to want to work. How can it be a quick match if it takes you about 10 years? Oh, there we are. Yeah, for some reason, BF3 is a bit uh, buggy at the moment, with, like the odd quitting out and things. Uh, but when it works right, it's alright. Um, I'd also like to know if any other viewers have got 5970s on air. Exactly what temperatures are getting. Because, as I say, at the moment, this is all um, in previous videos. Or water cooled. Eight fans running on dead medium through Zalman wired fan controls. So it seems to that's the temperature of water. Let's see if we can zoom in. Twenty six point one degrees C. And for the American viewers that is seventy nine point three Fahrenheit. Marvellous. And that is the ZXT, that's the temps inside. Now, number three is actually the back plate of the 5970, and that is reading 28.0, and it's got very little airflow of the back. I'd just like to have that as well as the reading what's um, on the LCD. The, um, the LCD here, right when it zooms in, is uh, the actual internal temperatures, what it's reading, not only probes, just what's actually on the card itself and what through MSI afterburner. Now, can you see the scaling there? 99 and 99. I've never known anything like that apart from actually Fermark and, like I said, them synthetics never ever in a game. So, when they said they improved the scaling, I was very impressed because I thought, oh, it'd just be the 6 series, what will be getting 90, mine will probably be getting 80 because 
Everyone says the 6 series scales better than the Radeon 5 series in dual GPU form, which is a 6990 compared to the 5970. Right, and here's the game. Um, as you can see, both scaling. We're in some sort of online map. It's only me at the moment, unfortunately, for some reason. Let's see. Uh, render dot draw p s space one. And there's your frames per second. Uh, just kind of hard. Uh, it's gone hard to try and move and play. But this is a. Um, so, like I say, anyhow, the scaling's good. Like, say, look, 96, I've moved forward a little. 98, that's really amazing. Um, just to show you, like, with the FPS, what we're getting, not playing, but. What we're getting in settings, cancel, uh, video, right, 1900 by 1200. Now, I have actually tried it with deferred on as well as um, the actual um, anti lazing post, the, which is like what people say is just a blurring thing, like on consoles. I can have that on high, but that seems to work fine whether it's on high or low. I have it on low, not out of performance, but just out of personal preference to the visuals because there isn't really any performance hit difference, hardly. But anti lazing deferred, now that is one son of a bitch to um, your graphics card, but with the latest catalyst, it is still a lot more playable. Um, but it is very down on the FPS, probably like in the 40s, up to 60. But uh, I don't actually see the point in it because if as long as you've got a bit of blurred on anti lazing post, uh, that blurring that helps anyway. And at high res, you don't notice the jacky so much either. But that's just my personal preference. Maybe some people prefer it with one. Um, I also found out that when you have two times um, deferred, it's about the same hit. It seems to be for whatever reason, nearly the same hit as four times. Which is weird because a lot of people have recommend said they got better performance with two to four, but it seems to be same uh, level of performance loss. Like I say, just walking around. So, uh, like I say, I ain't got anything to mount it on. Uh, da -da -da. But like I say. I'm just moving now with the, the arrow keys. Sorry about this shakiness of this. But as you can see, the FPS is pretty good and the scaling is good. I've never known it like that. But uh, yeah, the visuals look just amazing though when you actually like you know look through things and stuff. Especially uh, roads or anything like that, um, pavements. They look amazing. Right, I'll do a follow-up with Vid sometime when I've uh, got a tripod to get this stable. Um, okay, thank you for watching. Um,